John 14. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. John 15. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. First John 2. And hereby we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoso keepeth his word, in him verily hath the love of God been perfected. Hereby we know that we are in him. He that saith he abideth in him ought himself also to walk even as he walked. First John chapter 3 Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, we have boldness toward God. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him, because we keep his commandments and do the things that are pleasing in his sight. And this is his commandment, that we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, even as he gave us commandment. And he that keepeth his commandments abideth in him, and he in him. And hereby we know that he abideth in us, by the Spirit which he gave us. But when one turns to the Lord, the veil is I speak unto thee this day, and I say that the man who exalts himself, I say that he will be proven to be the fool. But I say that the man who will humble himself before me repent and walk in my way, then I say that he can be made wise. For I say when a man will have a spirit that he's teachable by, I say that he's able to receive of me. But I say when a man is full of pride and self-importance, then I say that he will not learn, he will not receive of me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that the ones who are mine would walk in humility before me, willing to repent day by day. That is, entering into and remaining in repentance revolution, for that is the humility way of my life. For I say, when men and women will truly humble themselves, bow down low, and seek for me, then they are guided forth in my way. But I say, when men and women will be proud, independent, and impudent against me, then I say they are proven to be fools. For I say, when a man is full of pride, I say that he will always be ready to assert himself. That is, to have his way to get the best for himself and leave others in the dust. But I say, when a man is in humility, then I say that he will delight to see others brought forth in me. That is, that they too can taste of the heavenly kingdom that I provide. Now I say you are living in a time when multitudes have lived under the teachings of Babylon's Jesus, and I say they follow, they serve another god. For I say they are serving a god of permissiveness, a god of delusion, and a God that allows them their sin. And I say they are serving a God that indulges them in the selfishness, the greed of their own carnality, and actually supposedly blesses the same. But I say they are deceived by the God they serve, for it is not me. For I say that I do not God to require and desire a repentant people who will humble themselves unto me. That is, a people who will not desire the highest seat, but be willing to take the humility way. That is, the people who will really desire to please me, obey me, and walk humbly before me always. For I say that my true ones are not loving themselves, but I say they are loving me. And I say they will be able to consider others rather than only looking at what they can gain from any circumstance, situation they're in. I say this day that I don't have been God never called my people to live for self, to promote themselves, to brag how great they are. But I say that I've called my people to subdue themselves through repentance, that is, make it their practice each and every day. For I say, when a man will subdue himself and bow down low, then I say that he is brought forth in me. But I say, when a man is full of his own fleshly lust and the greed of the same, then I say that he's not following me. Now I say, this day when I the living God did come as a man and I walked among men, I say that I desire that men would follow me, that is, that they would come forth in the pattern, the example that I provide, and be made ever glad for my way. For I say it is a privilege to walk in me, to believe in me, to trust each day in me, that is, not to be in religious confusion and delusion, but to be found abiding in me. For I say it is me, the living God, who will give the light upon the path, the truth, always, to those who humble themselves before me. But I say there are multitudes who claim they are all right with me, yet I say they are serving another God. 
and I say they love the God that they serve because that God allows them their sin. And I say they go on and on and on in a way that is far from me, claiming it is me that they serve. But I say they are deceiving themselves, I say they are deceiving others, but I am not deceived. For I say there are endless multitudes in this wicked generation, I say they are serving an imitation Jesus and loving it so. And I say it is because the Jesus they serve allows them to indulge the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, and to go on in their own selfish ways. And I say the very Jesus they are serving is a Babylonian God that is not me. And I say they have chosen to follow such lies because their hearts are far from me. Now I say it is me, the living God, who is giving the call to any and all who will hear and obey to repent and return to me. And I say there will indeed be some who are now caught in the throes of Babylon's Jesus who will deviate and turn from the same. That is, they will see because their eyes will be opened to behold what it is that they are doing, that is, going in the way of death and damnation. And I say that they will repent, cry out unto me, and be redeemed. That is, redeemed from the penalty of their sinful religious way, wherein they are damned through it all. For I say they are choosing to live in sin, they are choosing to live in falsehood, when they are serving another God. But I say when men will truly repent, then I say they are choosing to live in me. And I say they are choosing to be brought forth in the truth, the light, the strength that I offer and provide. Now I say this day that I the living God absolutely never intended that the ones who are my people would walk afar off from me. But I say that I've intended that my people would know me and love me and serve me each and every day. That is, that they could be brought forth ever thankful to be guided in the truth, the light, the blessedness that I provide. That they could be brought forth ever guided in the truth of who I am. For I say that I the living God do find my joy, I find my pleasure in an obedient people who walk uprightly each day in me. That is, the ones who will believe and likewise receive of my mercy, my truth, my light upon the path. For I say when the people are cleaving unto me, know they are living in the fullness of life that I provide. And yes, they will be uplifted, directed, and corrected by me. Now I say this day when you look upon what it is that I give you, I say it is the way of life eternal, I say it is the way of life everlasting, and I say it is the way that is meant for my own. And I say it is me, the living God, who shows to the ones who serve me the straight and narrow way that is my life. And I say when a man is truly repentant, then I say he's appreciative of my way. But I say when a man is exalting himself, I say that he will not appreciate the humility way that I offer unto him. But I say that he will want the place wherein he is shown to be how great he thinks he is, wherein he can strut and boast in his pride. I say these very motivations have driven men to the Babylonian Jesus, and yes, they love the same. For I say it is an imitation and emulation full of falsehood and deception, and they can hide their sin in the same. That is, so they think they get by, but truly they do not get by on me. For I say it is me, the living God, who sees the religious and their sins, and yes, they need to repent. Therefore I say this day know of a surety that it is me, the living God, who is calling for all men to repent and to return unto me. For I say that I, the living God, am absolutely not impressed with men in their religion, but I say that I desire that they would humble themselves unto me. That is, that they would bow down, that they would know, understand, and realize that it is me they are meant to please. For I say they are not meant to be serving other gods, other lovers, and bowing unto them, them and then claim they are loving me. But I say they are meant to be faithful and true unto me, coming forth in the way that I offer, the way that I provide. Now I say if a man or a woman is truly following me, they will find that my humility way is given unto them day by day. That is, to keep them in a state of humility before me, that they do not swell up on pride. Now I say, if you look at what happened to those who claim that they were my people, that is, the religious Jews, what do you see? I say, you see, they had given themselves to pride, to contempt, to conceit, and they thought they were better than everyone else. But I say that the truth of it is they grew so proud they rejected the humility way that I came among them. I say they rejected the truth. And yes, they intended to follow after lies because they loved the delusion of the same. 
Now I say, what good did their religion do them? None at all. For I say, they missed the day of their visitation, they missed the chance of salvation, and I say, they were damned in their religious practices, and the same did not redeem their souls. For I say, they were living in pride, they were living far from the Father, they were living in imagination. Now I say, so it is even now that men can be religious, yet far from me, and literally despising my way. That is, because they are full of pride and contempt for the lowly way, I say they will not humble themselves to walk in the spirit before me. But I say instead they are proud of their religious ritual and routine. They are proud and smug in their own conceit. And I say they think they are deserving of the high seed in the kingdom, when really they will have no seed at all. I say this day beware the leaven of religious pride, for I say that it is fooled and deceived many a man. For I say that when men and women grow puffed on pride in the religious sense, they think they cannot humble themselves. That is, that humility is beneath them, and yes, they are so superior, and yes, they are so close to me. But I say when any man or woman is full of pride, they are not close to me at all. For I say they are stench unto my nostrils, and I say that I do not accept them in pride. But I say when a man will truly repent, amend, and change his ways, come down from pride and walk humbly before me, then I say that he's found acceptable unto me. For I say, when a man will make it his practice to daily repent, then I say that he will not be overwhelmed by pride. But I say, when men are refusing to repent because in their own minds they think they are all right with me, I say they are li living in the realm of fools. And I say it is because they are allowing themselves to be deceived by what they have conceived in pride. Now I say this day that I know every God absolutely do not find pleasure in the proud, the defiant, the willful, who must do it their way. For I say while they think they are so wonderful in their own proud ways, I say they are literally empty-headed fools. For I say they are going down a way that I did not intend nor did I provide unto them. And I say they are going in a way that I have not intended, that is the way of fools. Now I say this day, be glad to continue to trust, to believe, to obey me, and be kept in my way. And I say, be thankful that each and every day I give to you the light upon the path. I say, be thankful that each and every day I will direct, correct, and guide you forth. For I say, you are meant to seek to please, to obey me, and be brought forth by me. For I say, it is a privilege to be redeemed, it is a privilege to be able to walk humbly before me all of your days. I say this day when you look upon the proud, the braggarts, who are so full of their own conceit, I say they gain nothing in me. For I say their world is not centered upon me, but upon their own selves. And I say they are following the Babylonian tactics and thinking somehow they are right with me in the same. But I say they are fools who are taken in folly because the God they serve is not me. Now I say this day that men when they think they do not need to repent, no, they are far from me. No, they are serving other gods, other lovers. And no, they are desperately needy of repentance before me. But I say, when they are assured within themselves that they are right when they are wrong, I say they are headed in the way of destruction. For I say that a man is, who is truly humble will be willing to subject himself to me. And I say that he will be willing to walk humbly before me in the truth, the light, the strength that I provide. Now I say this day, be glad that you can continue trusting, believing, and looking unto me, for I am indeed well able. And I say, be thankful that you can be brought forth in that which I give you time and again. For I say, it is me, the living God, who gives to my own the light upon the path, that they can indeed be kept each day in me. And it is me, the living God, who gives to the ones who long for me the way wherein they are given the hope always. Therefore I say, continue trusting, believing, and looking unto me each and every day, for I am the way of life, the way of truth, and the way that is mercy provided. I say, be thankful to keep serving me. He's trying to get my attention. He's trying to get me back before I... Ah! Ah! Second prison to that. Different spirit from the one you received, or if you accept a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it readily enough. I consider that I am not at least inferior to these super-apostles.